Hey, happy Friday, everybody. It's Peter and Sal here. Welcome to Talking Wellbeing TV. How are you, Sal? Good, thank you. How are you? Hello, ladies. How are you? <laughs> we are here to talk about the foundations of wellbeing, which are move, eat, live. And we have a really interesting topic today because I wanted to talk about the ins and outs of moving more. Um, and some interesting stats and research that I was looking into was that 35% of different types, th sorry, 35 different diseases are associated with sitting too much. Wow. 35. You know, um, not only that, back pain and obesity. Yeah. So, you know, we're talking about heart disease, we're talking about blood pressure, you know, high cholesterol, depression, all of those things. So 35 different diseases because we sit too much. I just, I, you know, I was just absolutely, you know, thrown into chaos when I read that. Um, the yeah. other interesting thing about it is the average person sits for 10 to 13 hours. I believe that. 10 to 13 hours. It's insane, isn't it? Yep. Mm -hmm. And if you go back to, um, you, you know, the, the Stone Age, their average sitting time was somewhere between three to four hours. Mm -hmm. And they were moving because, you know, they had to walk everywhere that they went, whereas, you know, we don't live close to where we work or close to where we shop these days. So, you know, we're having to get in our car. So, again, we're, we're sitting more and more and more and more. And so what all this research shows is that movement is absolutely critical and vital to our life. Um, so we, as humans, are designed to move. You know, we're designed to uh, bend, reach, you know, stretch, um, lower ourselves down, uh, run, walk, you know, jump, all of those things. And because of our life and work or, you know, we may be retired and so sitting in front of the TV a lot more, then what happens is that, you know, we're just not getting that physical activity that we need. So, Sal, you got any comments so far? I want to like just make note too of how many of us, like you said, there's 35 diseases associated associated mm. with eating. We don't generally do anything until we've been to the doctor, and we have to go on medication, or you need this type of plan, or mm. you, like it's not proactive. Where I think we're reactive people, rather than being oh, it's totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so what we do is we come up with lots of different reasons why we can't do something now until we actually get forced into that situation and then we go, okay, I now need to do something. But whether or not we keep it up is entirely different as well too because, yes. you know, I know that the stats are that even after like a major thing like a, a heart um, issue, you know, heart disease, um, and a heart attack, then only 14% of people actually continue with their healthy lifestyle. So they'll make the changes short term, but they won't keep following it through. So, I mean, that just makes me so sad in, its, in mm -hmm. itself. I mean, like moving is like responsible for our healthy joints, our our strong bones, uh, the strength that we have, you know, our circulation. So, you know, if you've got poor circulation, get moving more. It mm -hmm. also is about coordination. So if you think about it, you know, we start to lose our, our balance and everything like that. So by moving more, we're encouraging that level of coordination that we have in our body. Um, our reflexes, so we're more able to jump out of the way of something if there's a situation like a toy gets in the road or something like that, we were talking about a toy um, just the other day. 
Um, yes. What it also does is it improves our concentration as well. Yes. And our activity, our brain activity, so not only our concentration, but our brain activity. When you look at those 10 to 13 hours a day, if you think of it, seven and a half, maybe six, six and a half hours, maybe sitting at work. Nine mm. times out of 10, the rest of the time we're sitting in front of the TV and when we sit in front of the TV, we switch. We're not really even focusing on what's yeah. happening on the TV. So your brain's just switching off. So by being active, it's not only oh, having point. the concentration, as you said, but it's at the activity of, and it's all those subconscious moves. Okay, I have to step here. I have you're not you're not um, consciously thinking about it, but that's the sort of activity that your brain's doing. I've got to step here. I've got to run there. Yeah. I love the research around um, kids, like children's grades as well too. So when children at school are exercising, their 10 to 15, their, their grades go up by 10 to 15 percent. Yes. So and that that flows on to people as well too. You're like grown ups, so yes. we are 15 percent more productive in our life when we're actually moving more moving more yeah yeah and this is why i'm always pushing you know my children to olivia's always coming to me you know can i do this can i do that sport can i do this sport um but <laughs> we've always been that family that has not pushed her but encouraged her and if she has come and said can i do this whatever the sport mm. may be um you know the answers all the time yes because we want i want her to keep moving and keep being active mm. Mm. yeah but the thing is that movement doesn't have to really be anything formal either so it can certainly you know structured exercise is fantastic but we can keep moving in lots of different other ways. So, you know, sweeping the floor, vacuuming, doing the washing. Um, dancing. Countless. Dancing. Yeah, countless <laughs> other things, really. There are definitely countless other things. So, I mean, the recommendations as far as movement is concerned is to move. Is, so if we were in a work environment, or even if we are in that environment where we're sitting, watching te telly or, you know, on our iPad, um, we want to be moving about every half hour. Now, I know from a work perspective, a half hour is a bit of a, it's a, it's a, it's a stretch. You sort of like, I'm only just getting into the zone um, or the yeah. flow of what you're working on in that 30 minutes. So I would push it out to an hour. Yeah. So, but I would suggest that each and every one of us, you know, uses the alarms on our phone so that every hour our phone or, you know, our, you know, device goes off and reminds us to get up and do some moving because we've been sitting too much. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And there's even little things that you can do at your desk, you know, as far yeah. as moving you know underneath your desk so i i actually have i have a skateboard under my desk <laughs> so i'm pushing it <laughs> all the time all right when i'm sitting here working i'm just pushing the skateboard from side to side or you know front to back whatever it may be another thing can be resistance bands yes <laughs> Yeah, yeah, okay. So that's interesting. So I didn't know that you had a skateboard there. You probably don't know I have this thing. No, so I this didn't. is just a piece of foam um, and it actually can wedge in behind my back. Yes. Give me some support. Yeah. Um, but I can also keep it underneath my feet as well too. So I've got my feet elevated so I can like – be pushing it back and forth <laughs> yes. so like pedals on a car so I've got that circulation thing happening as well too so that's just you know two little things you can do but I do like the skateboard because the skateboard's got wheels on it so you yes. can definitely get moving yeah the other thing which is what I have here um, 
I won't bother showing you it. Oh, yeah, okay, hang on. Sorry about the hand there, ladies. But uh, here's my sit-stand desk. Yes. <laughs> it's pretty messy. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, um, but that's okay. Um, so, yeah, what I tend to do is I feel that what happens for me is I start to get um, agitated. Mm -hmm. So if I'm sitting for too long, I'll feel myself, you know, I'll start to firstly open up my legs. So, you know, I'll sit right back into my chair um, and I'll have my legs really wide and I'll be, you know, trying to do something and but I'm just on edge. Um, this is the clear sign that, you know, I have been sitting too long and like I need to get up and go and do something. So um, listen to our bodies because our bodies will actually tell us if we've been sitting too long. Um, so, yeah, just start with something. But mm -hmm. I thought it'd be a good opportunity to talk about some of the things we could actually do in a lot more detail, Sal while yes. we're here for a few minutes. Mm -hmm. So um, like one of the things that I'm just going to scoot back so that I don't cut myself entirely off is to actually do sits to stand. So they're squats really. We just sit yes. and stand. So, yeah. yeah, we just, you know, do these for like five minutes. You'll soon get your heart rate up. <laughs> and... Um, yeah, it won't take long at all. So do it with me if you're watching. <laughs> what have you got, Sal? I'm lucky to choke myself. <laughs> Please don't <laughs> choke yourself, yeah. No, we spoke about this last week. Now, I have to be super careful because I'm on my office chair and it's got wheels. I'm lucky to scoot back. Um, but needless, and we spoke about this last week, um, one of our clients, oh. I was chatting with her on the, on the phone. You know, so just needless up yep. and down. Yeah, like so. I don't know whether you can see me or not. Actually, yeah. if I just scoot forward, take the down. Now you yes. can. Yes. Okay, Perfect. so I'm just scooting forward a little bit, you know, use my hands to brace myself, take my feet off the floor, and then just lifting those knees up to the chest. Try not to put them back down. So that's another no. great one because it's great for lower, lower abs as well, at lower abs as well too. The one other yes. thing that's really good while I'm back here is take your feet to get off the floor, but actually get your feet moving back and forth. So swinging them underneath your chair. Now, this is brilliant. If you've got aggravated knees, you wouldn't think so, but it is a really great way of actually getting those knees a little bit more mobile as well too. So yes. that's another thing you can do. Yeah. Yes. Scooting back. I love these rolly chairs and what we can do. <laughs> See, you can even work your legs on your rolly chair. <laughs> Push them mm. around, working those muscles back and forth. Back oh, you can. Forth. Like yes. scoot, scoot it back and oh. then scoot it forward. Yeah, yes. definitely yes. you can do that. The other thing you can do is while you're sitting there, you can do reach up, reach up, reach up. So left to right, you know. Just yes. really big stretches, making sure that, you know, you're thinking about your spine so you're in that neutral position. So, you know, we could also do, you know, like, tell us what these are, Sal. Shoulder press. Yeah, we no, could do the shoulder, shoulder press. press. So yes. we could go up, come down, really, really squeeze through the back of those shoulders. You know, your body's yes. going to, like, thank you no end. But the other thing that we could do is we can uh, sit and then do lateral movements. So, again, just make sure your spine's in alignment. So I'm just reaching down, yeah, reaching yep. down to the side, reaching down. So I'm making sure that I'm bending at my waist. So, you know, us girls always yep. like to have a bit of a waist happening. Yes. Yeah. Well, I'm, look, I'm starting to get puffed already, girls. <laughs> I want to go back. <laughs> I want to go back to the yeah, list and the Please. Uh, sit stands. Now, you can take that upper level. I do this sometimes yeah. too. Um, and I put my resistance band on around my thighs. So I'm doing All right. abductors under my desk. And because I have okay, that well, resistance let's just band on, it's very controlled. Hip, hip, 
hip abductors ladies they look like this okay so you can yes. see my legs so I've just got my feet planted on the ground so my ankles are in line with my knees in line with my hips and then what I'm doing is I'm extending those knees out so I'm actually engaging through my hip muscles yeah okay yes. yep. I'm getting Same a bit of an you. exercise routine <laughs> Knee lifts, you've got your resistance band on, so you're lifting up and down. And same with your sit stands. Because you, your resistance band is keeping everything in alignment. So from your knees yeah. up through to your hip, mm -hmm. it's keeping it in alignment and you're not going to make your range of motion range of motion too big or too small. It's going to engage everything. Yeah. So, yeah I had a resistance band. We're gonna also do like reach over the top you know like we used to as kids yes. Yes. yeah james the 1980s aerobics jane fonda look at us go <laughs> um yeah so what that's going to do <laughs> is get your um you could definitely get your heart rate going depending on what you're doing there. They're just some little things that you could do to get yourself started. The other thing is, I'll try not to, let me just move this back. On your desk is, we can do push-ups too. Yes. Yep. So. Doing the elevated push-ups. Elevated push-ups, yeah. Yep. Um, you know, if you've got, uh, you might need to put some padding if that desk is a little bit hard underneath your hands. But, yeah, you could definitely do that as well too. Yeah. You know, in all honesty, mm. you could put a little little one or two kilo set of dumbbells in your desk drawer and pull them out and do bicep curls. Mm. Tricep extensions. Yeah, you could sit here. Yep. Yeah, we could definitely do all of those things. Yep, we can do kickbacks. Yep. Oh, kickbacks, yeah. the magic one, tricep dips. Yes. Don't try this on your um, tr wheelie don't try chair. this on your wheelie chair like I am. You know, you've got to be nice and stable to do that as well too. You know, the yes. other thing that you could do, Sal, is something as simple as just sitting and kick, 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 yes. kick, kick. Yep, so kicking out. Wow, yeah. ladies, we're just giving you a whole exercise routine that you can do at your desk. So what we want you to do, set the alarm for every hour and just pick something. You can pick one or two of those or you might do all of them. You know, it's up to you. But really try and get moving for about five minutes. If you think about that, if you're at work for, let's say, eight-hour day, take two hours, or for incidental stuff that's going on. So let's say six times during the day you're doing five minutes of exercises. What's that? That's a 30-minute exercise routine you've just got out. Voila! Got your workout done. Yes. Yeah, you got your workout done. Yeah. So, but it's really, really important. It is so, so important to our health and our well-being and life in general because if we stop moving if what we do is just stay in this seated position more than likely we're going to get those back pains we're going to maybe get one two or multiple of those 35 diseases that are related to actually not moving so much um, and it's just really going to affect us not just now but in the future, and I know that we all want to be able to do, you know, so many things, those things that we love and enjoy, and the only way that we're going to continue to keep doing those things is to move now. So yes. don't wait, as Sal said, till you're at the doctor's and all of a sudden, you know, you've ended up on medication. So take it up now so that you don't end up in that situation. And you mm -hmm. never know, like we've seen ladies who were already on medication and in some instances they've managed to get off their medication because they have started moving more as well too. So yes. as I said, it doesn't have to be a lot, but it certainly just needs to be often. Yes. Because our body is designed to move. So just remember we need to move and move often.
Yes. Thanks for joining me today, Sel. Thanks for having me. Have a wonderful weekend, everybody. We'll see you Sunday. We'll see you Sunday for Sunday wrap up. Yep, that's exactly yes. right. The weekly wrap up, the week that was. <laughs> all right, ladies, thanks for joining us. Take care, everybody, and we'll see you all soon. Bye. Bye, Bye, Sal. Bye. Bye Peter. Bye.